This is the German Leopard 2A6 main battle tank, developed by a renowned German defense company, Krauss Mathe Wegmann. The Leopard 2A6 was introduced in the late 1990s as an upgrade to the Leopard 2A5, and it quickly gained recognition as one of the most advanced and capable tanks in the world. In this video, we will take an in-depth look at the German Leopard 2A6 main battle tank, exploring its specifications, armament, operational capabilities, how it works, and discuss the pros and cons of this formidable machine. So don't miss a bit and stay tuned for an in-depth exploration. The primary operator of the Leopard 2A6 is the German Army, which deploys a significant number of these tanks. However, this powerhouse has also found its way into the arsenals of other nations. Countries like Canada, Chile, Finland, Greece, Indonesia, Norway, Poland, Singapore, have recognized the capabilities of the Leopard 2A6 and have acquired it for their armed forces. The Leopard 2 class of tanks has indeed seen several variations and adaptations to meet the specific requirements of different countries. Among them are the Leopard 2A4, which is a variant widely used by various countries, and the Leopard Evolution, designed specifically for the Singapore Army. Additionally, there is the Leopard Revolution, which was developed to meet the needs of the Indonesian Army. Moving on to the specification. The tank weighs approximately 62 metric tons. It measures a whopping 10.97 meters or 35 feet in length with gun forward, 3.76 meters or 12.3 feet in width, and stands tall at 3.03 meters or 9.94 feet. Operating this beast requires a crew of four highly skilled individuals. The commander, gunner, loader, and driver work in perfect sync to unleash its power. On the move, the Leopard 2A6 boasts a maximum speed of 70 km per hour or 43 miles per hour on roads, while off-road it can still reach an impressive 45 km per hour or 28 miles per hour. With an operational range of approximately 450 km or 280 miles, this tank can traverse vast distances on the battlefield. But what about protection? Fear not! The Leopard 2A6 has composite and modular armor which provide exceptional levels of protection against a range of threats, including anti-tank missiles and projectiles. It's worth noting that this modular space armor is also used in other formidable tanks like the M1 Abrams, Challenger 2, and Leclerc. The Leopard 2A6 has four fuel tanks, two are located in the front hull, one on each side of the driver's compartment, the other two are located in the rear hull, one on each side of the engine compartment. The total fuel capacity of this tanks is approximately 1,200 liters or 317 US gallons. This fuel capacity allows the tank to achieve a maximum range of about 500 kilometers or 310 miles when operating on roads. The fuel tanks are typically made of composite materials and are designed to withstand battle damage. They are also protected by additional armor to minimize the risk of ignition or fuel leakage. The Leopard 2A6 is powered by a 1,500 horsepower twin turbocharged diesel engine, which provides excellent acceleration and mobility. Let's look at armament and ammunition capabilities of this legendary tank. Let's start with its main gun, the Rheinmetall 120mm smoothbore gun. This powerhouse can fire a range of ammunition, including the fearsome armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding Sabo rounds, designed to penetrate even the heaviest armored targets, and the high-explosive anti-tank rounds, perfect for taking down armored vehicles. But wait, there's more. The Leopard 2A6 also features a coaxial machine gun, the reliable Rheinmetall MG3 7.62mm machine gun. And for added firepower and anti-aircraft defense, it can be equipped with one or two MG3 machine guns mounted on the roof. The Leopard 2A6 tank uses an EMES-15 telescope as its main aiming device. The EMES-15 is a combined day or night sight that includes a binocular telescope, a thermal imager, and a laser rangefinder. The thermal imager allows the tank to engage targets at night or in poor visibility conditions. The laser rangefinder allows the tank to accurately measure the range to targets. 
This is Commander's periscope called the Perrier 17A2. It is a stabilized panoramic periscope site for day or night observation and target identification, which provides an all-round view with a traverse of 360 degrees. Moving back this is Commander Independent Panoramic Site. This provides the commander with a 360 degrees view of the battlefield, day or night, and allows him to identify and engage targets without having to expose himself to enemy fire. Now let's move on to the ammunition types that this tank can utilize. An armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabo is a type of kinetic energy projectile designed to destroy armored targets. It is fired from a smooth board barrel, and its effectiveness lies in its unique design. The projectile consists of a heavy hardened dart encased in an outer shell called a sabo. As the round is fired, the sabo provides the initial propulsion, but it peels away from the dart, allowing it to continue towards the target. Fins are integrated into the design of the dart to ensure stability during flight, preventing tumbling and maximizing accuracy. Some fins may also be modified to induce a rotational spin, further enhancing the projectile's precision. The core of the dart is typically made of tungsten or depleted uranium, materials that are denser and heavier than the armor they are intended to penetrate. Upon impact, the nose of the dart collapses, allowing the denser and hardened core to penetrate the armor. Heat rounds are designed to defeat armored vehicles by utilizing the explosive power of a shaped charge. The round contains a hollow cone-shaped explosive charge at the front. When the round hits the target, a triggering mechanism detonates the explosive charge. The explosion creates a high-velocity jet of molten metal, known as a plasma jet. The plasma jet rapidly penetrates the target's armor, causing extensive damage. The Leopard 2A6 tank has 42 rounds of ammunition, which are stored in two different locations, 27 rounds are stored in the compartment to the left of the driver. 15 rounds are stored in the turret bustle, which is a small compartment located behind the turret. Now let's take a look at how the tank works. In order to turn the Leopard 2A6 tank, the driver utilizes a steering wheel connected to a system of gears that control the speed of the tank's tracks. When the driver turns the steering wheel to the left, the left track slows down while the right track speeds up, resulting in a left turn. Conversely, when the driver turns the steering wheel to the right, the right track slows down and the left track speeds up, causing the tank to turn to the right. This is how the crew fires ammunition rounds. Step 1, the tank commander utilizes a panoramic sight equipped with a thermal imager to search for potential targets. Step 2, once a target is selected, the gun automatically aligns itself with the target without manual intervention. This automated process ensures precise targeting. Step 3, the loader receives orders from the commander and loads the desired shell into the tank's gun. Step 4, the tank commander reaches the target location and the gunner takes over the engagement process. Step 5, the gunner utilizes superior sights, including better visibility and accuracy, to aim the gun at the target. Factors such as windage and elevation are taken into consideration to achieve a precise shot. Step 6, the gunner completes the aiming process, ensuring the gun is properly aligned with the target and then initiates the firing sequence. Step 7, while the gunner executes the shot, the tank commander, during this time, scans the surroundings for the next target to engage. The Leopard 2A6 has a number of advantages over other modern tanks, including a powerful 120mm L55 smoothbore gun that can fire a variety of ammunition, including armor-piercing, high-explosive, and anti-tank guided missiles. Advanced armor protection that includes composite armor, spaced armor, and reactive armor. A state-of-the-art fire control system that includes a thermal sight, laser rangefinder, and ballistic computer. However, the Leopard 2A6 also has some disadvantages, including, it is a large and heavy tank, which can make it difficult to transport and maneuver. And lastly, it is expensive to operate and maintain. To stay on top of the latest military technology, please subscribe to our channel.